Hi, I'm Dion Ruff Sloan, the Tea Priestess of GoddessTeaHouse.com. And today I'm going to talk to you about supporting your relationship to yourself by working with the elements. The elements of earth, air, fire, water, and spirit are the creation building blocks, if you are, to everything that is in creation. When you make a conscious connection to work with them, it can dramatically improve the quality of your life experience. Now each of the elements connects with a different realm or aspect of our life. And I want to just briefly touch on each of those and tell you how that connects. Earth is the physical realm. It's our planet. It's the stuff that we have in our house. And it's our personal Earth, our bodies. Earth teaches us about the power to stand on our own as the queen or king of the realm of, of you. When you learn to be sovereign, you make the ability to really claim your own personal power. Sovereignty for me means I don't have to run out and look at what the world says is fashionable. I can choose what is fashionable for me. I can choose how I express myself for me. Earth is also the place where we learn to honor our bodies as a sacred container. Without our bodies, we wouldn't be able to experience the warmth of wrapping our hands around a cup of, of hot tea or being able to pick up a child or touch our pet or hug a friend or a family member. There's so much that our bodies allow us to experience that it's a shame that a lot of people choose this part or that part about themselves that they don't like that much. Because if this part or that part was taken away, that would dramatically change the experience that you would have in this body. Water is our emotional realm. It teaches us about the power of love, applying love to ourselves and to others. How do you apply love? You apply love by what are some of the things that you do when you love somebody, just because. These are the kind of things that we can do to increase our relationship to ourselves and, and make it a more a healthy, more vibrant relationship. Water also teaches us about being clean, clear, and current. You always want clean water to drink. With your emotions, you always want to make sure that they're running clean. You want to be clear about your emotions. Are your feelings about yourself based upon what is true for you now? Or are they based upon something that somebody said or an experience that you had from years ago? This is being clear about your emotions. And this is also making sure that you are current with what is now. Air is the mental realm. This is where we um, learn about our thoughts and focus on the vision that we have for our life. Air teaches us about the power of intention, setting an intention and setting into motion the things that we need to do in order to bring the vision of our life forward. Now with air, it's important to remember that air impacts water. That means our thoughts impact our emotions. So you really have to investigate and notice when you are replaying or continually holding on to negative thoughts and how that's impacting your emotions and how you feel about your body. Next we come to fire and fire is the action realm. It's your passion and your life force energy. Fire teaches us about the power of action. 
If you've ever spent any time looking at a fire in a fireplace or a fire pit or even at a candle, you'll notice that fire is always moving. It never slows down. And from that, we learn about the power to get moving and take action on our own behalf, take action for our relationships to ourselves by doing the things that it takes to increase our self-love and our trust in ourselves. Fire is the great transformer. It transforms that raw material into ash that ends up fertilizing the soil in the case of putting logs on a fire. Fire is what drives us to do the things that we need to do in order to have a better relationship with ourselves. And finally we come to spirit. Spirit is the spiritual or soul realm. It's our own essence self. There's no one in the world quite like you in all of the world. There's no one put together quite like you, no one walking around in the exact same body as you. Spirit teaches us about the power of choice, choosing how we express ourselves in the world, choosing how we show up in the world, and choosing a new way for ourselves when the old ways no longer serve us. So combining all of these five elements can help us to uplift and create a healthier relationship for ourselves. And I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that. So how do we connect with the elements and help them have them help us crew to increase our self-love? Well, it's simply a matter of asking. Go outside and physically sit on the earth. You might want to take your journal with you and just take a few deep breaths, a few minutes just enjoying the beauty of nature and ask earth, how can I better love my, my physical body? Ask how you can improve your relationship to your physical body. Water, again, this is something that we connect to every day, whether we're drinking a cup of water, cleaning dishes, or taking a bath or a shower. These are the ways that water makes us understand how to be clean, clear, and current. So the next time you're in the shower or taking a bath, ask water, water, how can I emotionally support myself better? How can I get clear on my emotions towards myself. Air. Going outside, taking a nice deep breath and allowing your lungs to fully fill with the breath of life and connect with air and watch your thoughts. Notice how your thoughts impact that emotional realm and see if you need to reprogram any of those thoughts. How do you reprogram the thoughts? Listening to motivational speakers, meditation, affirmations. These are the ways that you can connect with air and bring more into your relationship with yourself. Fire. Connect with fire by gazing at a candle and asking how can I get more action in the relationship to myself? How can I illuminate the next steps that I need to take in order to increase my healthy relationship with myself? And then with spirit. Really realizing and connecting and honoring the fact that you are a unique being in all of this big beautiful world and asking your higher self, ask the you that is already living with a healthy relationship to yourself, what would you do? And then listening for the response. I guarantee you that your inner wisdom already knows the steps that you need to take. 
I would love to hear how you connect with the elements in order to increase your self-love and have a healthy relationship with yourself. So you can leave a comment in the boxes below. And if you've enjoyed this video, I would love for you to join me by subscribing to my channel where I share meditations, motivational tips, and spiritual tips. Take care.